After two years of regular COVID briefings, Governor Bashir has given his final weekly update, at least for now. But as WLKY's Drew Gardner explains, the battle between the governor and the Republican-controlled legislature continues. Is the state ready to completely move on from the pandemic? In the early days of the pandemic, Governor Bashir's COVID briefings were a part of daily life. But with seven straight weeks of declining cases, the governor is ready to turn this page on the pandemic. Every metric is moving the right direction, and this map is just one way to show how we are moving to a better place. A map dominated by red throughout much of the pandemic now showing large swaths of green. Kentucky's positivity rate down to 4.17 percent, a number not seen since before the Delta variant hit. So with everything in COVID moving the right direction, after today we're going to pause our Monday COVID press updates. And I'm going to hope that pause becomes permanent. Despite Bashir's decision to pause the briefings, he says Kentuckians shouldn't let their guard down. Living with COVID is not ignoring COVID. It is having the information to be empowered to make the right decisions to protect yourself. While the governor is ready to turn the page on weekly briefings, he's not ready to completely move on from the pandemic. The governor took aim at Senate Joint Resolution 150, which would end Kentucky's state of emergency, calling it politics at its worst and warning it would end disaster SNAP benefits for more than half a million Kentuckians. Ending this state of emergency, uh, cutting $50 million worth of food to our people is wrong. And for what? There are no restrictions, no COVID restrictions in Kentucky. Senate President Robert Stivers shot back Monday, releasing a statement saying the resolution explicitly states that the General Assembly has no intent to impair or delay the ability of the Commonwealth to receive any federal stimulus or pandemic related funds or services. Bashir previously agreed to end the state of emergency on April 14th when he signed Senate Bill 25. If he vetoes this resolution, there are more than enough votes to override it. Drew Gardner, WLKY News. And the governor's office will continue posting the latest COVID information online each Monday. The Thursday Team Kentucky briefings will also continue.